We are in the final days of Ramadan, the last 10 days. Let's reflect on the theme of renewal and rejuvenation. Let's seize this opportunity to renew our intentions and rededicate ourselves to our faith. Ramadan Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum. Today on the show, we'll delve into the essence of Ramadan as we listen to soul-lifting Quranic recitation and our sheikh will answer some popular questions about Islam. You don't want to miss our favorite part, Iftar with Nima. Welcome to Iftar with Nima. أم تقولون إن إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأسباط كانوا هودا أو نصارا قل أأنتم أعلم Welcome to Ask the Sheikh. Today our guest is Dr. Sanusi Lafiyadu, a senior lecturer of Islamic Studies at Ikma University in Loring. We hear all the time that people are offending Muslims who are fasting when they have to drink water or someone that is not fasting. How are Muslims supposed to behave in front of others while fasting? In the month of Ramadan, we know that um, the people who are obligated to fast are Muslims, especially adults who do not have any excuse uh, to not fast, such as a traveler, a sick person, a pregnant woman, a nursing mother who cannot uh, bear the pang of hunger, then also the old, the sick, among others. So they are expected to which uh, refrain from fasting. As for those who probably uh, are excused from fasting, they have the right to eat and drink, whether it is in private or in public, and nobody should feel offended about that. Nobody at all. So uh, let alone non-Muslims who are not even bound by the injunction. If one can uh, eat and drink in a secluded area, uh, then that is better. But I'm not saying it is forbidden to eat in public. But if he can seclude himself and just, you know, have his meal, then that is better, no problem. So as a Muslim, even when we are not fasting, we should uh, just conduct ourselves in the best of manner. Whether we eat in public or in private, there is no injunction that restricts you from eating anywhere you desire. With regards to the Kanu Hizba, that 11 Muslims were arrested for eating in public, uh, and the director actually said they do not arrest non-Muslims because they know they have no injunction over them. But as for Muslims, I think it is, uh, it is good that before you enforce such a law that says don't eat in public if you are supposed to fast, we must know is this person supposed to fast or is not supposed to fast. Because let's take for instance, there is a law in Kwara Street. Every last Saturday of the month, nobody should be caught outside wandering. You must be found either sweeping or you are in your house. So it means that you have to respect the law of sanitation. So I think what Kanu Isba is doing is that every Muslim should respect the law of Ramadan. If you want to eat, for instance, for whatever reason, uh, don't do it in public so that people will not uh, probably see you doing that and they also want to... Um, because how many people will ask you, uh, why are you eating? Let's say, for instance, as a woman, you might be experiencing your menstrual flow and then somebody sees you eating and he or she doesn't know that you are exempted. So that person will be feeling like, oh, this person is not a good Muslim. But then, you know, uh, we should respect each other's space and privacy. Um, 
Amotulao Welcome to Iftar with Nima. Today's episode is special. We have the Oba of Lagos, Alaye Lua. Oh, Jogola, the Oba of Lagos. Oloweko. On Iftar with Nima, usually we ask questions around Ramadan, around Islam, and we are in the Kingdom of Lagos today with you. I would like to ask number one, how do you see Ramadan personally and how do you observe Ramadan personally? Ramadan, the Almighty Allah, Allah Wasallam, says that fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may guide against evil. Now you fast for a certain number of days and he left out certain things. If you are in a journey, a pregnant woman, the sick, the elderly who are sick, who cannot comfortably perform it, should not bother themselves. So the religion of Islam is a religion of peace. As Almighty Allah wants peace for all human beings. That is how it is. Okay, thank you, Kabiesi. And the month of Ramadan had blessings provided to follow the tenets of Islam. Mm -hmm. So, Kabiesi, how does the office of the Oba support and engage the Muslim community in Lagos? You see, Lagos is a cosmopolitan city, a city of blessing, progress, and the good things of life. Provided we keep to the commandments of God. We be our brother's keeper, law-abiding citizens, since, and assist the government with the best of our ability. All will be well. You see, in Lagos now, God Almighty Allah has made a Lagosian to be the president of this country. Because we had been a helper of people and was able to identify through the wisdom God Almighty gave him those who can perform and make things happen. And I always tell him every time, according to my own knowledge. I don't have reservoir of knowledge that at all time, he has to be grateful to Almighty Allah, as it is God who provides everything for human beings. And we have to be thankful to him. It was said in the Holy Quran that if you are grateful, appreciative, and thankful to God, you always have rest of mind. And all things that is good in life will come to you, but you have to be contented. And know that anything that has a beginning will inshallah come to a successful end one day. Okay, sir. Um, can you share any specific traditions or events that are unique to Ramadan that is observed by the palace? You see, in this house, from time immemorial, it is God Almighty who appoints a leader. There is no single prince who is not interested to succeed to the throne of his father, if he is a genuine prince. But Quran has said it, that it is God Almighty Allah who appoints a leader. And uh, there is a chapter in the Holy Quran that this book, this Quran, is the way if you follow it. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alif Lam Mim. Zalika li kitabu la raiba fihi dan lili montakina. If you believe in it, it's the way. No many people will go to Mecca. On entry, Kaaba, it is said in the Quran that anybody who enters 
this holy place. You have nothing to be worried in life. Provided you keep to the tenants of what the forbidden should not do. But the pretense is very, very unfortunate. About 10 years ago, I still have to record something. I suggested to the top hierarchy of the military that the security architecture of this country needs to be overhauled. As if I knew what was going to happen. But the problem is, all what is happening now, inshallah, it will come to an end, provided we believe in God, we keep to His ways, all we do with it. Just everybody has to cooperate and contribute genuinely and sincerely, our uncle, to the progress of this country. All will be well with us. It's just a question of time. You mentioned earlier that Lagos is a cosmopolitan city mm -hmm. and there are different people, different faith, different cultures now residing here. Well, how do you manage these people to foster unity? What do you do particularly to foster unity among the different cultures, different faith? There is no Lagos? human being in this world. If you are doing something which you should not do, you know in your inner conscience that it is not right, that you not do it. Uh, if all of us follow the religion in which we practice, like this morning I spoke to somebody on something, that the Muslim religion is a religion of peace. We cater for the welfare of others. Many people ask me, who is a Lagosian? My reply was that anybody who which is the best for Lagos, we want progress on Lagos, development, spiritual development, and all the good things of life to contribute to your own quarter, then you are a Lagosian. But recognition must have to be given for the owner of the land. Yoruba says, and Tababalaba, Baba. That is the truth. Like in this country, particularly Lagos, we have many highly intelligent, disciplined, and willing youth, but they have to be God fearing and be close to their God Almighty Allah. But uh, some incurably bad ones, they didn't want to work. They only want to rely on, even the Holy Prophet awesome. is against begging. Poverty is not good for anybody. You pray and you have patience, all will be well with us. Like in this country, in allow things are going to get better very soon. All will be well with us. Is there anything you do all around the year that you stop at Ramadan during the Ramadan month? Well, it's thanks to God Almighty Allah. You see, I don't know. I think it is God's own making. Right from my youth, I don't deceive anybody. What I feel about anything, I say it out. But I am not always right. I cannot claim to know everything. Yoruba says, But I assure you, anything fraudulent, criminal, or lies, a lies, more be lies, and there is nothing in my life I cannot say. And me, I respect people. I accord respect to me, but I don't fear anybody in life. Right from my youth. There was one incident. I said, God, it was wonderful. One malam was outside preaching. And I brought out some money. 
I gave it to my one of my son to go and give the preacher. When he came back, I called him and said, Kai, they come. I was searching his pocket. Ah, he said, Daddy, what is that? I said, it is a prank which any youth can play. I have done it before. And there was a, a particular Muslim organization. They wanted to do something, they sent somebody to me. And I gave them the money to go and give them. You know, we policemen, that investigative tendencies. When I cross check, it was only 10% of the money that he delivered. Most of the religious houses, and it is not good, what they are doing needs much to be decided it's between them and their God. They knew in their inner hand that what they are doing is not good. But all will be well as time goes on. You know, Yoruba used to say, who thought about Luma saw that the town will be on fire? Should not say it, but he wrote to my party, Luma Fito. Luma We are in the last 10 days of Ramadan now. I want you to advise Muslims on which act they should do the most for the best rewards. You see, the Holy Quran has made simple, easy for all Muslims. Even you, you, you cannot read it in Arabic, it's in English. What you should do, what you should not do, is the way of life to behave. It's there in the Quran. And you know, even in the Holy Bible, he said, Oni ma be rusha wo. Amu re re achi a yon la afon yi. Abi o lubwa la afon yi lo ni ni ilu da vidi. Yon yi ro yi yon ma wo nan te a fi o jawi to dubu le se bu jaron. But our people, don't know, many people, they go and swear falsely with the Quran. They go and swear falsely with the Bible. It's not supposed to be like that. Mombo lo wun yalo gwa do. Thank you very much. It's been very informative on today's episode. I have learned and Kabyesi has advised that we should not say the word Kabyesi because God is the only unquestionable. He also has advised us that we should not swear falsely on the holy books at this holy 10 days that we are entering into. I hope that you do not you know, miss a thing. If you have, catch it up on YouTube and don't miss anything. We are moving on now to our Iftar and our Magusola. Have a wonderful evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.